Good morning, it's Edna Keep here live Monday. Today our topic is, I'm trying to get this set up so it looks better. Uh, today our topic is, are you a road builder or a wall builder? So uh, I actually found this uh, online from a fellow that I follow. His name is Dr. Robert Anthony and I thought it was really fitting for what we've been talking about lately. So uh, I'm going to share, share it with you. So, uh, first question is, do you consider yourself a builder of walls or a builder of roads? Every one of us throughout this life is building one or the other. How do you see yourself? Well, I came across a short poem by Evelyn Hartwich who says this, Great roads the Romans built, neat, yet walls also to keep the men apart, secure new centuries are gone and in defeat. The walls are fallen, but the roads endure. Do you build roads, as in mental roads, by which can you meet and share yourself with other people? Or do you erect mental walls that separate you from others? It would seem to me that all the endeavors and all the material substance that goes into providing a wall of separation from other people is a complete waste of labor and materials because the wall can never ever stand. The truth is that we're all spiritual beings created in spiritual unity with all mankind and that our puny human walls of separation can never stand in perpetuity. But the roads, that's another story. That's different. Do you build roads that join you with other people? The mighty turnpike arteries of intellectual communication with people that come into your daily life in business? Do you have this communication that transcends your business contact? What about quiet avenues of shared emotion. Do you build roads from your heart to other people's hearts? The road of common understanding, the roads of shared happiness, sadness, uplifted hearts joined together in common courage. Do you build these types of avenues or the quiet lanes of love and understanding? These need no paving with words. They are leaf covered lanes of a smile, a touch, or just a look that says, I know, I understand, and I love you. Do you build these type of lanes, which are never enduring, ever enduring? Nothing can destroy these. Take time today to determine whether you're building walls with wasted manpower, wasted mental endeavors, wasted spiritual substance in an attempt to separate yourself from your fellow man, or decide whether you're going to build intellectual arteries of common mental enjoyment, broad emotional avenues of shared experience, and leafy lanes of unspoken spiritual unity. As we decide to build with your thinking process, you'll condition the nature of your world. It can be a world of walls walling you in, or a world of roads that you can travel into joy eternal. The choice is up to you. And remember, if you want to learn more about these thought processes, strategies of mastering your money mindset, Please remember to join the early bird list so that you hear all about my upcoming course that's going to be launched on August 9th. Thanks for listening.